Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Cupcake Smash here, here bringing you another video, and today we are just after season reset. So I'm gonna be filling my crown chest, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best. Today was supposed to be a level one video, guys, but I put it on YouTube, and for whatever reason, the video got offset by four seconds from the audio, so all the raids are messed up. And I, I, I honestly can't fix it at this point. So I'm going to get you another level 1 video out very soon. We're also going to do the chest opening. That's probably the next two days after this one. Uh, but we're going to get our crown chest here and hope for the best. So here we go, guys. Now this is against DJ from Apollo's Creed. I'm going to turn off the sound because I don't want it being fed into my mic. Uh, while I'm doing this. So let's just drop a Lava Hound off the start. This will be a very, very good way to gauge if he has any defense for the air. Uh, he might try to start cycling against us if he does have, like, a minion horde late in the deck. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it, Oh crap. That was not what I was expecting at all, but with the Inferno Tower, it's really not going to be that bad. I'm going to zap here. That'll delay the Valk. And now, can I sneak the balloon in? Yes, I can. So the balloon, not quite actually. The minions can push the balloon, and that was what I was hoping for. It didn't quite happen, but the balloon's going to get set on the tower. Whoa. Okay, this dude has a level 4 baby dragon for one, so level 4 epics. But that's not the big thing, is nobody uses the baby dragon unless they're a hound user. And if that's the case, I could be in some serious trouble. Also, it looks like we got lucky off the start of this battle, uh, because he does have a lot more air defense near the tail end. We did well on the damage, but that won't do it for this time. We got We got to just... I don't know. We got to power through. So that Inferno Tower is going to be a risky situation. Hopefully he keeps offsetting it like he did, not putting it in the center. Because uh, that would be great. I mean, yeah, we, we could we could totally manage with that. Let's go Lava Hound, though. See what he's going to do. He's got his Valt coming again. I could do the exact same minion zap and get an Elixir advantage on these Spirit Alms. And it looks like he's very comfortable doing just that. So here comes the Zap. That Valk's going to be taken down with the minions. He's going to drop. So he's going very, very different on his placement style. He's waiting for to use the Inferno Tower until he sees the balloon come out. Much smarter gameplay. But now I'm about to lock on his tower with the in or with the Lava Hound and these minions, and he's going to be in some trouble because I'm not going to drop the balloon until I have this tower in a decent spot. So here we go. These lava pups are doing some good work. We're going to do all right. And now let's go with Valk Balloon on the opposite side. Now his Inferno Tower can go down and we'll be just fine. We'll throw minions in the center to hopefully distract it. Let's go here. Zap the Inferno Tower down. Yes, there we go. So the balloon should get onto his opposite side tower. Please. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Well, that sucks. And he's going to. Oh, crap. And I just used the zap. Okay, this is going to be really bad. This is going to be really bad. My Valk's going to do okay. I'm going to arrow. That should take down the minions. Okay, we, we just cleared him out. Okay. I feel really bad for him. Honestly, though, I actually feel bad. Let's go with a barb split because I haven't used the barbs yet. What I'm going to do is whichever side he defends, obviously going to throw the balloon on top of the opposite side. So he's going to go wizard on the right side. So balloon on the left side should catch him completely off guard. And he's got the Inferno Tower. So here we go. Lava Hound in the back will actually probably do the best against that because the Inferno Tower should die by the time I get there. Uh, so let's hope that's a fact. Let's go Valk in the center with the minions. That'll do some good work. And now let's zap all of those troops. That'll take them down. This Lava Hound is getting ready to cross into his territory. And it should be good for us. I mean, 50 seconds left. He's got that Inferno Tower again. But I think I'm just going to... Uh, keep taking down the inferno tower until he like literally cannot keep it let's go with a lava hound up the opposite side lane now and uh i don't i don't even know let's let's just go balloon here try to finish him off uh and we could actually arrow at the same time can i can i do a simultaneous win so here we go let's drop the arrows if that balloon gets there at the same time oh man that would have been so epic if i could get two crowns at the same time had i dropped the arrows a fraction of a second later i probably could have but with that min mini P.E.K.K.A. and everything on the opposite side tower, I was just not willing to risk, like, losing. So here we go, guys. Now we're against Paradox from the clan home. So I guess we're, we're right at home. We'll make ourselves at home. We'll uh, crush him. But no, let's go with a Lava Hound off the star. And you could actually tell, like, that last battle wasn't that big of an alarm to me, even though we did have the Inferno Tower, because the Inferno Tower is normally not played, it, like, super well. 
not a lot of people can actually use it really effectively the one that would really scare me is three musketeers because it doesn't matter how you play it like literally just having them is like a free lava hound takedown but here we go minions coming down oh goodness let's just zap no that was a poor decision because the musketeer might turn I don't even know. Cannon's going to go down, though. It's not going to really matter. We'll see what he does. Did his, did his zap take down my pups? Crap. So, uh, we didn't do too good on that push, but I think we I think we could take it to him. Let's go. Musketeer here right on the right-hand side. Uh, that'll obviously counter the Ice Wizard. Take him down. Boom. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Barb's here in front of our tower. Hog should get off one hit if he has zap two hits. Uh, and, yeah. Okay. Called it. So, so far, nothing to be alarmed of. Why would you use his, why would he use his minions? Honestly, though, he, he knows I have the, oh gosh, he knows I have the Lava Loon. Now he's used his cannon, so he can't distract either of those units. So is he going to just try to use the Musketeer against me? Because that's not enough. I can throw like a Valk or something at the tail end or even minions and distract the Musketeer from hitting the Balloon, which is the critical, critical, critical part of this entire push. So like, honestly, he set himself up for failure. And then I know, like, somebody's going to go in the comments right after I get demolished, like, oh, Cupcake Smasher knows nothing. And, uh, yeah, I, I do have the possibility of getting absolutely annihilated. The Ice Wizard, good choice, actually. So he's going to do all right there. He's going to fireball as well. I'm going to have to zap all these units once the Hound breaks apart to hopefully get that balloon to the tower. Come on! Yeah, buddy! So there we go. So his Ice Wizard, I had forgotten about it. It's a decent counter, and it actually does work really well. But in this case, it's not going to work too great. Let's go Valk down. That Ice Wizard will delay it enough, though, where his Valk might actually take mine down, uh, which kind of sucks. Let's go Balloon right over top of the Valk. And now I think maybe I was going to arrow. That Ice Wizard is going to take down my Balloon. Actually, all this stuff combined is going to take down my Balloon. Let's throw the arrows. It wasn't, like, necessary or anything. Like, it wasn't even that good. But uh, what it was doing was trying to just... Weaken all those units. Let's go with a Valk right at the top here and hope that we can take down the Ice Wizard and the Musketeer with relative ease. Now with the Valk to tank and the Musketeer to support, we're going to go with this Balloon. That should take down the tower there, uh, but we will see. Let's zap the... Ah, I tried to zap the Ice Wizard before he could hit the Balloon and it didn't work too well. Let's go with some barbs and arrows. And yes, that is perfect. So his Hog Rider will be suffering from that. Uh, good decision on my part. Let's go Hound over top. I haven't used the Hound in a little bit. Uh, that should help us out a ton. Minions to counter the Valk, and it looks like we should be in a very good situation. Let's go with... Zap his minions for one. That would help tremendously. Take them down. Now his Ice Wizard is retargeted. Let's go with a Musketeer in the bag now. Lava Puffs, they just need to do a tiny bit of work, and the arrows could have taken it, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna get the tower down just in time. Good game. Ooh, you've got a guy from Game of Thumbs. So, uh, yeah. I clearly doesn't know what he's doing. But here we go. I think let's go with a balloon minion push and see if I can actually, like, utilize that push of the minions. And look at that. That balloon is going so fast. Wow. And the Inferno Tower is distracted. That guy must be livid. I would be. I know I would be livid if that happened to me. That was pretty amazing, though. That Inferno Tower is going to go mostly the ways that valk will obviously die though so i might if i really am feeling good i might try to just use the musketeer to get the last chip damage down but i don't think it's necessary let's actually just arrow this that'll weaken the inferno tower and take out the princess which is always good barb's going down no he's got ice or not ice spirits fire spirits they're gonna do okay but they're not gonna kill the barbs and that's really what he needed uh when he's gonna use the royal giant like that so I don't know, he's already cycled through to his Inferno Tower, though. I can guarantee you that. So we do have some issues on our hands. Let's go maybe Hound in the back, and uh, I don't even know. Yeah, let's just go Hound in the back. If he does have his Inferno Tower, he'll waste it on the Hound, because I'm not going to commit the Balloon. I'm going to commit Minions here. He might go with the Royal Giant, though, just to try to force me into a bad situation. That would be the worst case scenario, is if he's trying to commit to just pushing instead of defending let's go musketeer here that'll do some good work he might or might not lay something directly on her let's zap the inferno tower so it won't really matter and now arrow the minion horde and that should help out the pups when they burst so there it goes but that zap did that zap kill the pups or was it just the minion horde doing so much work still doesn't matter though look that 
Musketeer gonna take down the tower. We're doing good work. We could probably push for two crowns. I won't go three just because that is so risky, especially because he does have the what you would call it, the royal giant. So it's it could be a bad situation. Let's go with Hound though and this time what's gonna happen is when he drops the inferno tower i'm gonna drop a valk in the center right when he does it and it's gonna just totally screw him up so here comes the balloon now everything is going according to plan i'm ready to drop the valk i'm gonna drop her now oh no those ice oh crap the ice spirits did so much work crap and the barbs are now now going to waste this is just a worst case scenario and i'm zapping the minion horde too early this is going so poorly Oh goodness, this late gameplay was not good. Let's go with a Musketeer down, and then I'm going to have to drop a Valk, and that's going to be able to counter the Royal Giant efficiently, so there it goes. Okay, so we're starting to recover, starting to play like uh, normal again, so Valk and the Musketeer are going to stop the Royal Giant in its tracks. Let's go Lava Hound in the center. He's probably going to drop Inferno Tower once he gets a chance. Boom, Minion's going to obviously do some work on it let's zap the inferno tower and now look at that the valken musketeer are doing work i don't think they'll quite take down the tower but it doesn't matter we got the w and now we're against sank guys and this is i don't know a good match i mean we're facing a lot of level 10s i'm almost a level 10 i've got 5 xp to go let's go with a barb split and let's see he's got an ice wizard so oh man i wish i had the balloon because i'd float it over the right hand side with those barbs tanking but i won't be able to so once the ice wizard just strikes on the barbs that sucks dang it i wanted to take down the ice wizard now he's gonna fireball that's gonna be a big problem that mini pega should go down actually it's not even a problem let's go with i don't have the liberty to do the valk balloon up the opposite side let's go right there once the valk starts taking a step we're gonna go with the balloon over top that should be good to go and yeah he's just sitting there like uh, I don't know what to do and uh, this balloon's definitely gonna do some work on top he's got the fire spirits though they come in one more hit from the balloon would be really nice oh, no uh, what I could have swore it was in its animation like honestly I could have swore it was doing it but let's go here zap the oh my goodness I tried to zap him in time it's not gonna work out though Barb's gonna go on the mini P.E.K.K.A. now we're marching towards this tower gonna do a lot of work hopefully he has the fireball though I think he proved that earlier in the match so he might just fireball last second yeah there it is not really a big deal though I mean I'm gonna drop the hound here in a second and then he's gonna really freak out because he's gonna realize how much power I have in this deck so as we're approaching full elixir there goes the hound now i'm going to probably have to use the valk next because he's probably going to try to push me really hard on one uh, okay here we go val gonna go down on these goblins take them out and now i think a balloon over top will really end this for him but uh we'll definitely have to see i'm i'm worried about the mini pekka because that could do a ton of work against me uh if he just tries to run it underneath uh, but here we go. We've actually we're doing really well. Let's go minions on top of his valk. That might actually help her go down before mine. And in which case we have a lot of hit points coming his way. Those fire spirits are going to be a waste. And yeah, we should win this game at this point. Barb's going to go up that offside lane. He just used his fireball. Oh goodness, that's a rough way to go for him. But he's got his ice wizard, so it may not be that bad after all. Let's zap all those units and know that valk's going to do some decent damage. So now I just really have to worry about where the Royal Giant's coming down next. Uh, probably behind the Valk. Nope, not going to happen. So here comes our Valk and the Musketeer. We should be able to do all right. His Fire Spirits are going to try to take out the Valk, but it's not really going to work. We're going to see, though, he's going to Fireball down my tower. Nothing I can do about that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a Balloon behind the Valk, and that should go right onto the tower. And we're going to be seeing some great work coming that way. Oh, come on, Balloon. Do some work, please uh yeah he should be able to get there boom there we go so we got the king tower below the other side and uh now i think we're gonna be all right this ice wizard is gonna definitely do some work on our hound uh but it's actually gonna help us out because it's not on the opposite side so instead of letting the tower work on it longer it's letting me build up more elixir to back him up so barbs and everything is gonna work like barbs musketeer we've got a balloon now he's got another ice wizard now on his side of the map though it's gonna be a much different story as far as what it's helping i'm getting ready to zap this area once that lava hound goes down it's perfect time it doesn't matter it's game over he can't win boom so here we go guys opening up the gold ch or this crown chest i'm kind of lagging a little bit let's uh maybe i shouldn't tap with two fingers that might be also some of the issue let's go minions here and now rocket 
But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today. If you did, make sure to like it up and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, this has been Cupcake Smasher here bringing you another video.